might as well get this over with. First, a little background. When I first saw that Devilman Crybaby was on my schedule and it was made by Netflix, I was really dismissive about it. Oh, goody. Another piece of semi-exclusive trite for this mutilated American channel that, for some reason, requires a subscription and a client to run. Another soldier into the never-ending grinder of exclusives. And then the reviews started coming out, praising it like it was the second best shit ever made. And this got me baffled. It's Devilman we're talking about here, right? The Go Nagai one? The one that's gotten tons of adaptations before, even that silly one with Cyborg 009? And then I started noticing the usual buzzwords that I hear about these sorts of works. It was so emotional. I was so moved. <laughs> but to tell you why it's good would be spoilers. Well, guess what? I've watched it, and if you don't want spoilers, piss off. I've got points to make, so from now on there'll be spoilers. Just watch the show if you give a shit first. You might as well. It's only 10 episodes, and most of you listening aren't legal anime consumers anyway. Yeah, there's a time investment, but let's face it, if you're listening to me of all things, you've probably got time to kill. So if you're still here, Devilman Crybaby begins with a wimp and his best friend, the most obvious villain in the history of anything ever regurgitating plot onto you. But long story short, there's a wimp, there's a villain, there are demons, they are bad, young rich millennials ruin everything they touch, even orgy parties because they summon fucking demons while at it, like we're suddenly in Warty Hammer 40k. Boobs. The obvious villain and the wimp go to one of these orgies, and after a bit of boobs and killing, the wimp gets possessed by a demon and starts murdering other demons, because being a wimp is power and thus Devilman is born. A human that battled the demon for mind domination and won. I think so anyway, as far as I understood, the only difference between demons and Devilman is that the latter want to live with humans in peace or some bollocks like that. After that, the episodes just continue to be a jumbled mess of plot lines where Devilman murders shit and occasionally cries. The real turning point comes when the gay runner dude transforms into Pinky from Doom and starts murdering a stadium full of people and the real villain uh, reveals himself to not only be a villain but a viciously autistic one at that. Realizing that demons are real, humanity essentially starts murdering itself to extinction in a classic case of nationwide mass hysteria, all while the demons do pretty much fuck all for the most part until the last episodes where they go World War 3 on whatever remains. But I might as well give it away now. I think the show already peaked by this point. It already showed all the good parts with the whole I am an anime created by Westerners plastered all over it, and then it essentially turned into a comedy. And me the part where Miki's mother is eaten by her son, who for some reason turned into a demon and the father just yells in agony as he tries to kill him, or when Migi gets stabbed in the back and screamed like a banshee is just the most hilarious shit I've ever seen this week. And those epic speeches of the villain and Miki in the last few episodes. Thank you, show. Please continue moralizing as you show humans are a bunch of bloodthirsty morons that will kill themselves faster than demons. I'm sure a lot of people will agree with you. Coincidentally, a lot of those people probably think that their current government is demons incarnate. And the main villain, Satan, is the most autistic motherfucker I've witnessed so far. From the start, he was always stopping you or holding you back. Your actions murdered his parents, his friends, his parents' friends, and everything he held here. You knew this was gonna happen, and yet you expected him to just come and make love to your bisexual ass anyway? All I'm saying is that this kind of broke my suspension of disbelief a bit. So in summary, on a subconscious level, Devilman Crybaby is a good show, as the graphics, music, and overall story would probably be appealing to a lot of people, and admittedly, adaptation-wise, this is probably the best one so far. Otherwise, it's a mediocre show at best on on par with those terrible adult swim cartoons at worst. In a lot of ways because they cut all the parts that would make the story less retarded, and if I wanted to watch something uh, bloody, erotic, and distasteful, I would probably go listen to modern rap music. Oh wait! I already did! Mm -hmm.